The line was, my baby, my baby, oh my God. Oh my God, my baby. And that's a shit, it's like you don't even want to go there. And, and it says hysterical screaming. Just like, what the fuck? Sugar? Yeah. Not the sugar rim. The sugar rim. The sugar rim. Thank you for this food. Of course. Holy <laughs> fuck, it's hot. <laughs> I treat. Um, speaking of summer drinks, tell me. Not to talk about the wedding, but. Talk about your wedding. What would a good fall cocktail be? Besides an old fashioned, or like what? what let's mm. look at an interesting fall cocktail. Well, it isn't someone designing what didn't you already get your cocktails <laughs> designed? The work has been done. That's an incredible side hustle of just designing what a cocktail should be. On surface level facts. Yeah, just making a recipe, naming it something about your life, and then selling it to you for 200 bucks and saying Fact. you do. Yeah, <laughs> like... Fall <laughs> cocktail. Right, we were so confused. We were like, oh, like an so apple like, cider thing? Do people like that? Yeah. I don't know if I want to be too on the nose folly though. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, that's a little um, Halloween. Right. Because <laughs> there's, I've already had to do the like, yeah, we're not going to do pumpkins and mm -hmm. boards and like, it no. is the harvest. But when my mom got married on your wedding day. Oh, that's right. I forgot about The bouquet about was that. wheat. That's no very flowers. 70s. Didn't she have the, she had the big hat, the huge right? Huge fucking hat, yeah. I still have the picture of your dad holding the picture <laughs> of your mom. It's so cute. He's like, I love my wife. Shit, dude, I don't know. Red wine? Right, <laughs> as soon as your That's cocktail's a red blend. Fucking <laughs> red wine. Yeah. Yeah. The Trader Joe's wine store. Yeah, yeah. it's a two-book chook. Um, yeah, I don't know, think about it. I will. How is it going? It's good. Do you have a planner? Yeah. Holy fuck. I know. Like, like coordinator. Coordinator. She just like looks at contracts and stuff right now and is there to hold my hand when things get crazy. When Sam is not holding your other when hand. Sam's not holding my other hand. Um, <laughs> which he always is. Which he usually, right, he's usually oh. holding <laughs> my hands. <laughs> um, yeah, it's good. It's like, um, it's kind of satisfying on a lot of levels as far as it being like, here's a list of like things to check off a list. Mm -hmm. And then... I can't believe you bought your dress. I know. You went by yourself? So hot. Yeah. It really felt really good. God, I'm so glad you went alone. I was like, because I was going to like call you and invite you, but then I was like, I think I just need to do it by myself. And we like, always talked about the, the, what, the bridal shop. Yeah. Of being like, I'm never going to take people. I'm never going to do the fucking... Yeah. I was very happy. The sort of thrill, though, of throwing the credit card down for that payment Holy was psycho. Because it was just like, this is more money than I've spent on anything. anything. Absurd. Anything. And just being like, yep, like that, I'm going to do this. And she sized me and did the whole thing that we did at Grace Loves Lace and was like, OK, so you're this size here, this size Whoa. here. And I had the option of getting it sized, like the different size ranges, but she didn't recommend it. And so and you're like, you don't have to tell me. Right, because she was like, it'll add $400. And like, since you're already $2,000 above your budget, <laughs> like, um, like, you don't need to do that. And I was like, great. Also, you know how that story ends. Not well. It's wrong, and then you can't return it, or you can't sell it, and it like... Right. I think it's going to be really big, but I mean, whatever, it's better big than small, but... Alterations was, are going to cost a fuck ton anyway, no matter what. I think, like, nothing has kind of confused my concept of money as much as this, honestly. Like, there are things where it's like, I'll see and I'll be like, that's only $20,000? Like, great! Like, what a deal! And it's like, I've never... It's absolutely a psycho racket, mm -hmm. as we know, mm -hmm. but... Um, but it's crazy that you're really doing it. Yeah. And, and like all the things. I know. 
Yeah, but it's good. It's good. I'm having fun. Is Sam doing some research or just giving you big opinions? She, I mean, uh, she wants to know. I'd love to get it done. Not in New York, but like, just get a German Shepherd. I want just like a straight down the middle golden retriever. <laughs> um, he's giving a lot of big opinions. Um, nice. I had a. When we were on the train, I, I was scrolling Pinterest, I was trained to Massachusetts, yeah. I was scrolling Pinterest, and um, he was like reading, and then he looked up and he was like, why are you still doing that? Like, why are you still scrolling like that? And I was like, and I had a couple of like Amtrak beers by that point, and I was like, listen, <laughs> headphones off. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and, um, and you were helpful in this because I was like, if you have like a solution to what I'm doing yeah. right now, then provide Bring it. Bring me solutions, not problems. Exactly. But if you're just going to like say like what I'm doing is dumb and then go back to reading your book, then like, no. You can find your own damn wedding. Right. Exactly. exactly. It's the apartment search. It's the like. Yeah. Bless them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then he did. He like actually was like, "Oh, if you go to Shutterstock, like you could actually find a photo that would be able to like blah blah." It was like it was. He actually was able to provide something, but it, not without prompting. <laughs> I'm gonna get another drink. Am I? Crush it. That's classic Kelly. Is crush a first? Classic drink. Kelly. I know. Maybe we're gonna have a little bit of this. Do it. It's yummy. How did that self tape go? The one that we did, the the Henny one. The what one? Henny. Hen nothing, of course. But I'm not internalizing. I decided for this full moon, I'm not internalizing rejection. <laughs> because if you do that, it takes away the magic of why people want to fucking hire you in the first place. That's true. So. Yeah. But a, lar a large part of it is the fact that there's not a, a stress from my job of like, I've got a book and get out of here. That I'm like, okay, I'm making good money, I'm surviving, it's fine, like, everybody knows what the fuck is up. And I can just wait for something to hit. Mm -hmm. And after that I did make a tape that, for Perdita. Um, mm. Too old, not an ingenue, but had a really good time and made a lovely, I'm so proud of the tape. Where, where is part of that? Um, Hartford stage. Nice. But I haven't heard anything. I'm like, okay, it didn't happen. Blah, blah, blah. Like, it's a hard part. Well, because she's always played so like, which I never have been able to do. Like, we weren't, I wasn't 20 when I was 20. You know what I mean? And the age range is like 20 to 25. And I'm like, no. And I had a call with my agents truly that day. I was filming it. And they're like, you have such an old soul, but a younger face. Yeah. And we need it to match up. I'm like, sorry, buddy. I, <laughs> like, I told that to a friend, and they're like, hmm, I would just call that like a pretty interesting actor. <laughs> imagine, 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 imagine. But like, so Perdita, like. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I like, can go there. He like yeah. wrote it late in his career, and he like figured out a lot of stuff by then. I was gonna text you because that shit is. It's really it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, it's like very yes. intense language. I, I like had no fear up while I was reading it because I was just like, yeah. Honestly, what the fuck are we talking about? All of the flowers and they all mean the different things. Yes, exactly. All, and it's like, mm -hmm. and she, and it's like, so she's very smart mm -hmm. that she like knows all of that. Mm -hmm. We're almost aging into that monologue, and it's like, at what point Fucking are you ready? Like, Let's go. Maybe I'm just like, I, I think I used to really love like the idea of playing Nina, but I think I, I may have lost this sort of. Like, I might be too old. And now I'm like, I'm too old to play Nina, but I think I might be, like, too old, you, you know? like, live too much life. Yeah. And I, th I think it, isn't it weird and sad and weird? But it's like, it is, but, I mean, it's true. It's like, that's what happens. But it's like, I, I don't. I always laugh when I get, like, a Juliet audition. Right. I'm like, right. are you fucking kidding me? Like, right. never felt that way. Right. Never felt that way. Like that, that would take more work than not <laughs> to be like, okay, <laughs> like talk about churning it out. Like Honestly, that would be really... Get someone who is that. Oh, also, yeah. I've never read King Lear, and so that's, I'm reading that right now. That play is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's like... 
It's wild. It's like, I get it why it's like everybody's favorite. Yeah. I feel like such a, well, because I was getting a couple Shakespeare auditions and I was like, I need to fucking, honestly, it was winter so that I was like, I need to read it. So it's not blowing my mind every time right. a, I get a Shakespeare audition. And I'm like, oh, now I have to like study the play Right. Start from scratch. Right. Like, oh, Lear. Like, sure. This yeah. Is like, what blah, blah, blah. Okay, great, great, yeah. great. It's that scene. I can do it. Yeah. The way that I feel like with Macbeth and all these other things. But like, yeah. Lear, I'm just, I got an audition for Lear. Was for, it Goneril or Regan or Cordelia? It was Goneril. Goneril. And I, t I turned it down because. Oh, right. Yeah. I felt like such a fuck. I should not have done that. Um, but. It's fine. It's part fine. of me it turned it down more. because I didn't have time to. Prepare the way I wanted to prepare, and I'm, and it was in person. It's like I'm not gonna go in and like, right, shit the bed, fucking goneril, and be like, ah, like, right. I can just cobble this one together. <laughs> like, fuck no, no, not for fucking goneril. So, no. But now I'm reading it. I'm like, holy hell, that play is so good. That Hamlet. That's those are the best Honest, plays. <laughs> honestly. And Othello. I mean, like. But yeah, I Othello rules. I love Lear, but I've never like, I think you worked love. on it. So I don't really? have that sort of, yeah. So I don't have like a sort of like emotional connection to it that I know that if I was like ever in it and like ever did the journey of that, yeah. I would be like, this is the best play ever. And it mm -hmm. is, but I think like all of the other like greats, I feel like I have more of some sort of like, oh, like I worked on a scene from that or oh. something or like, hi baby. Hi doggy. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi! I love you! Hi, sweetie! Hi! Also, like, I love, like, an off-leash in the bar vibe know, for that vibe. puppy. I love when I go out early in the morning and there's some, like, off-leashers, like, Make it just making their way around town, and it's just like good for you. On the street, yeah, yeah. I'm I like, only good see for old dogs parents. off leash that are like, I'm not going anywhere fast. Yeah, kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah. King Lear's a good play. It's really fucking good. Which one do you want to? Is there one that you really want to do real bad? Apart. Um. Like, obviously Hamlet, because I just feel like that's the best play and yeah. it's the best part. Um, it's true. I was thinking, I actually wanted to do this this winter, but time passed. Mm -hmm. But it would be fun to have, I wanted to have a 12th night night and have it on 12th night, which is Thank January you. 6th, RIP. Mm, <laughs> All Saints Day. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Epiphany. All Saints Day is in November. But also the... Uh, I was about to say the resurrection. The, no. <laughs> no. 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 You wish. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, but like where we like all got together to read Twelfth Night, because it's just such a fun play. It's lovely. Like that's like a, it's, yeah. In the words of Alley Cat, it's a golden play. It is. And, no. It's her black cigarettes. So fucking cool. What's the thing they say about Emily in Paris? It's like a, <laughs> like it's like a. F That's my subway show. It's ambient television. Yes. Yeah. When I'm stuck on the queue between like, fucking canal and decalb. That's when I'm like, you know, when it, the train just fucking holds forever. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I have to watch Emily in Paris. So right now I'm watching the fucking Bernie Madoff shit on my phone. How is that? Listen, it's like a continuation of work. Because yeah. it's like fun <laughs> shit. Yeah. But it's actually explaining to me maybe like what people do <laughs> yeah. at my job. Because I actually don't know. Like when people are like, he's in this right. department. I'm like, right. Mm. It's just, yeah, Bernie Manoff's a bad guy. <laughs> he's bad. Listen, he's not a good person. <laughs> That's so sick. And I keep being like, isn't Wolf of Wall Street based on him? And it's just always like, no. no. And I'm like, but it's so similar. Like, he's from Queens. That guy's from Queens. That was a Ponzi scheme. This is a Ponzi scheme. It's not the fucking same. So Should good. we crush another cocktail? Yeah. Brisky? What are you going to get? I don't know. Now I'm like, maybe I should get a beer because I just got so fucked up this week. <laughs> like, I went and had beer last night. I drank beer a bunch last night. 
Mm -hmm. I'm like, was I just hung over today or? Hi. Could I have another old fashioned please? What I was realizing in this, and I don't know if you feel this way, is like, I'm seeing dudes that own like, vacation homes mm -hmm. and like, are making millions and millions of dollar deals all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm also dealing mostly with mailmen, people who work in the building, yeah. like people who make less than less than I do. Yeah. And it's like the two different Yeah. I don't know. It's the two extremes are in one building. Yeah. One of our mailmen this is so boring but whatever. One of our mailmen <laughs> has been putting Ooh. our <laughs> putting our mail where the trash goes. Like <laughs> this is the good. second time today. I should have like wrote, written an email, but I was just like, whatever. Seems like it's being handled. Um, he fucking talks on the phone, I guess, and just like puts our mail like where trash is, and then someone from the building who takes out the trash comes and brings it to me and is like, hey, this has been sitting there for a week. And I'm like, thanks for telling me. And it's all tax returns. Like, it's all tax shit. And I'm like, oh. I was trying to shut your place down. <laughs> I know, I'm like, oh, I'm like is that gonna come room? back on me? No. Or on the mail, I don't know. He left mail at the MoMA. The MoMA's across the street from us. And he like left like, the, our building's mail, like many pieces of mail just like at the MoMA when he was like delivering the MoMA's mail. Is that art? <laughs> <laughs> like, Is that art? Was he making art? Right. Is he making art? I do feel like I... Hi puppy! Hi! I love you! Hi! I love oh, you! Oh, hi, you're a good guy. Oh, that's not no. for you! That's not for you! Go see your mommy! <laughs> That's a good guy. That's a really big guy. <laughs> He's just a good guy. For that guy. Like, Digby can't give me that. What I just got. Digby gives you pure soul, though. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a very strange cat. He has a lot of issues. Strange cat. His mind. <laughs> He's got some like worms crawling it's around in there. Some crawling around, <laughs> crawling around his brain. in his brain, kind of like making him. He might accidentally him kill you. Shit. Yeah. Like the mornings that I wake up and he's just he sleeps on me usually. <laughs> he didn't last night, but we won't Are talk about Are you guys fighting? That. I guess <laughs> because we, I went out of town for a day and a half, but um, he gets Fuck mad. Fuck you. But, yeah. Um, but he. He sleeps just, like, if I sleep on my back, he's, like, on my torso. He just sleeps on my torso, whichever tummy way time. I am. Yeah, tummy time. Exactly. If I'm on my side, he sleeps on my side, which is, like, like a balancing act. Because <laughs> he was so Honestly. skinny. <laughs> so I knew little. Um, <laughs> he's, like, on a wire. <laughs> like, like, it's really hard for him. <laughs> it's just his paws on your side, like... <laughs> I'm gonna fail in my teeth as we speak. Oh, you should come to um, Samantha's uh, writing group thing. Well, I just didn't get an email anymore after oh, one. Maybe, maybe you got cut. No, I'm. Maybe oh. I got cut. Maybe I got cut. You got typed out. <laughs> hey, it's fine. I understand. No, um. I actually said, I was like, she's rescheduling it. Um, and it's nice because it's just like people like write scripts and just read them. I love the, I love the idea. I mean, it's like a pain in the ass because it's in Harlem, but if we're in Manhattan already, it's not so that, bad. Yeah, that's where I'm like, that's completely fine. And when I'm really anxious about my career and nothing happening. Yeah. I'm like, community is what like pulls me out of that. Yeah. And that's why I was grateful that it was coming up. Yeah. And honestly, like the same, 
way that like readings or something feel that sort of like, oh, this is fun Dude, and like I not love, stressful. The reading we did was so fun. It was so fun and like. It was so good, Jim. Thank you. You know what I've been thinking about? What? In that reading, but I don't want to like get it, you in your head. When did you learn how to cry like that? Oh. I actually haven't seen you cry like that. Like. Thank you. Maybe. Like, outside of acting class. Like, when you were... Thank you. I was like... Not that everyone needs to be awarded for crying, but... There is like, like a... Hi, Goggy. Well, I think everyone should be rewarded for crying. <laughs> it's fucking hard. Um, if it's not your party trick. It's not my party trick. I think it has to be, like... I think it's script dependent, honestly. Like, I don't think it's like a technical word. Like, I can't. Me neither. I guess, like, I guess. I think I would need to prepare. Like, I, I think it didn't require as much preparation. I think that scene was really good. Like, I think the absolutely. Like, I think that 100%. was like kind of like. I think it was just really well written. Mm -hmm. on it. Like, honestly, I'm not just. You rode the wave, dude. Like, it's very much like. It was sick. Yeah. But I remember there was one time where we, I was doing a scene from The Seagull and... Holy um, fuck. I know. And um, I was with a scene partner and he gave us the scene like... I think it's when Constantine first kills the bird or something. And it's like a very short scene. It's like very like... And we were kind of like... It was like two weeks and we had done it and we were kind of like that's the scene, like, that's yeah. that scene, yeah. like, time to move on. Yeah. And we were like, what if we did their last scene? <laughs> and, like, so we did, like, the last scene of the seagull. Holy and, fuck. Which was just, like, something we were just... Just dive right in. Yeah, like, not equipped to do that at all in a scene study class. It's, like, kind of laughable looking back, like, oh, yeah, like, that's a good, like, oh, let's just do the last scene of the seagull. And I remember Scott, like, giving us notes or something, and he was, like, and the emotion, like, he brought, like, I don't need to give you notes on that because I think you have you you know how to create that for yourself, right? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and like we did it again, and just like nothing. <laughs> Dry. I know. Yeah. You're like so. <laughs> it's like no, I'm just not at all. I was just like really wrist riding the wave. Yeah. yeah. I really I just, just got there. lucky, and it, yeah. and it was like thank you for trusting me, but that was just purely like being a susceptible person it's in the like world. That. It's like e uh, Eden's class that I take. Yeah. The camera class. She uh, tells everyone to put um, Burt's Bees chapstick like under their eyes oh, for a cry cry scene. Does it like pull the tears out? Yeah, it's like like a vapor pen. Oh. Like I had to do a, a, wow. a tape for like FBI where I was like looking at a picture of like my daughter like being molested or just something just like absolutely insane right and like a tough thing to be like that's something that i relate to enough to cry about you know what i mean like it's like there's certain things yes. where it's like i can relate like there's a level of oh uh, yeah. the line was my baby my baby oh my god oh my god my baby and that's the <laughs> shit it's like you don't even want to go there and, and and it says hysterical screaming just like, what the fuck? So I didn't have Burt's Bees, so I had Vicks Vapor Rub, and she's like, you can just put it on your cheek. Did you hot sauce? Yes. <laughs> Honestly. Well, the first one I did, I was like, I'm, I, I, you know, we were rehearsing it because she was coaching me for it, and it was like going well, and she was like, okay, put a little more Vicks on your face, and I was like, I'm not using Vicks, and she was like, oh, and I was like, <laughs> but then I had to use the Vicks. She's like, look like shit. Like, smear your mascara, like, look like hell for these things yeah and it i mean i obviously didn't book it but it was helpful to know that like you just like it is actually for camera like just like yeah. just cry and yet and scream and yell my baby my baby oh my god fucking nuts but you can't do that on stage all the time i still get so fucking in my head when i have to cry on stage it's like, yeah, it's like the, what, when the muse comes down, as she does sometimes, but not consistently. No. Or like for fucking 53% us, yeah. it was like, I have to cry. Right. That's the, like, yeah. that's the bit is that I'm crying. 
Yeah. And I was so scared I wasn't gonna. Every single time. It was so fucking scary. I mean, you did when I was there. But did you every time, or? Yeah, but sometimes I get really in my head that if I'm crying, no one can see my tears. <laughs> Do you have this thought? Or like you're pushing it, or like it looks like I'm pushing yeah. it, which yeah. is like a... Yeah. Because that's almost worse than... Like if an audience member can be like, oh, she's really like... She's muscling that out, isn't it? <laughs> which is a sort of like kind audience member that I am <laughs> when I go to the theater. Oh yeah, you're really. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're. <laughs> I saw, oh, I saw, the dress rehearsal for the Oscar Isaac Rachel Brosnahan oh, band play. Oh, how is it? Because my because Bronte is understudying it. They didn't finish teching the play, so I don't know how it ends. But <laughs> it's really long. But I drank a coffee before, and I was like very there for it. One, Rachel Brosnahan is so hot. She's in her underwear for like the first, most of the first scene. And I was like, nice. Sick. Hell yes. <laughs> we, went, we went for drinks after. And so it was the other way with was like, you and why did she have to be in her underwear for the whole first scene? Like, was that written in the play? And I was like, doesn't matter. <laughs> like, Just take a gift. It was awesome. Um, talk about Cry Cry Man. She just like brought it. She's Good for her. Dude, she's great. Right. I mean, I like her. Yeah. In Mesa, but I, like she brought it. That's great. And Oscar Isaac was a wild dude. He was trying all kinds of shit and being a goof. A pure goof. I want I can't wait to go back and see it, but it was so nice to see like them not know what to do with their props and like not yeah. know like what the fuck is going on or like Oscar Isaac is playing banjo in the in the play and he, I mean, I think it's his own banjo. I, I mean, I, I think he can play banjo, but I think they were layering other banjo on top of it for like sure. depth at one point. And like, there's a scene where Rachel Brosnan like slams the door and all of a sudden banjo started playing and he like went over to the, like went to go to the record player and then it stopped and he was like, okay. And just like had to go back. That's and, like, so funny. It. <laughs> like, it was, it was fabulous. Robert De Niro's son is in it. Didn't know he had a son. Lovely. The supporting cast is absolutely lovely. We should go see. I mean, like, I, I, I run, definitely want to see it. I can't wait. It, also, it's the only other play Lorraine Tansberry ever wrote. Really? A lot of fucking, like, really, like, rough language in it, in terms of, like, racially very rough shit. Interesting. Like, I don't know. It was it was just like very. I, I was just like this. This play is like really fucking relevant right now. I hate to f say that, but I was just like, yeah, this is hitting home. This is like like in terms of like the intersectionality of like race and sexuality and all of it. Like all of those conversations were happening in that play, and I'm like, damn, this is fucking crazy. Do I know what the play is about? Absolutely not. I was gonna ask, but okay, great. When does it open? I think it just opened. Okay. I think it just fucking opened. It's just great to like, it was a fun night of like nerding out too. Oh, so I guess, and I've been like on a big Shakespeare book thing recently as a far, like oh, just trying yeah. to like re remember who I am. <laughs> um, and so it we're, could be, it could be I mean, I'm yet. literally reading King Lear on the subway. Like, <laughs> right. It's so sad, it's so embarrassing. I'm like reading it like that. Yeah, right. And I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> like, oh, Lord, it's cake layer. <laughs> Arden, yeah. cake layer. Fucking. <laughs> Footnotes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, oh my God, I lost the thought. I'm sorry. I'm no, so no, sorry. no, it's fine. It's not, I don't want to say that's not that important because it is. Oh, it's that, um, I think at that point of his life, before he wrote those romance plays, he moved back to Stratford and he started spending time with his teenage daughter. Oh shit. And it's like, of course, like, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Like, yeah, like you didn't know your kids. And you're like remembering how to be a dad. Yeah, you're, you're like, like my daughter how to be a dad. fucking rules and is a magic being. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah. Like, Fuels me. It's just so funny that it's like, that's such a class, like, that's like, oh yeah, that would happen to a writer. 
like, oh yeah, I'm starting to spend time with my daughter, and she's really cool or whatever, mm -hmm. and, and like she's she's cool and she's like <laughs> redeeming my soul and. That's why I loved reading um, the letters between uh, Chekhov and Olga. Beautiful. I don't know that I've ever sat down and read them. I haven't read all of them, but there were. I went and checked a book out of the library at some point, and I was just like, this is amazing. Because it's like a writer, I mean, like, we've been there. Yeah. Like, it's like a writer telling his <laughs> actress, wife, girlfriend, mm -hmm. what the fuck he's writing. Yeah. It, it's so, yeah, it's so that. When we were in Moscow, I'm sure I told you this, I think about it often. I guess when Olga was in Cherry Orchard, like in the original cast, mm -hmm. um, I think everything I'm saying right now, I'm like, is this true? Yeah. <laughs> like, this is how I remember it. Um, that before he, like Chekhov was too sick with tuberculosis and that he was, wasn't able to go to the theater to like be with her before she went on. And so he like sent her a bottle of perfume so she could like spray it on before her performances and that like after he died like that perfume was how she remembered him or something. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> oh, that's so fucking sweet. I do want to read their letters though. They're really sweet. Because yeah. he's like, I suck. And she's like, you're fine. <laughs> like it's just so right. regular degular some of it. Yeah. If you could play any Chekhov character, who would you play? That's a fun question. Why? Bro, I loved playing Natasha. I would I would do that again. Oh my god. I loved doing that. That's a great part for you, too. I loved it. Oh god, she's such a brat. Yeah. She's like, she's like the only villain, really. Like, it's, it's the right so villain, so she's like, like she's, she's not a villain, but like... But, I mean, she's hateable. Yeah. What unlocked my love for her was, um, Joan McIntosh, who was directing it, was like, you know, like, where she comes from, like, she doesn't know how to read. And all Andre does is read. Yeah. And I was like, that's amazing! I mean, Joan McIntosh, she, I mean, she's fucking amazing. She's incredible. But like... Yeah. Shit like that that I would never have thought to like. It was such a, like a big moment of like I would never have thought to like dump, do that work historically and like inform it back to character and like make that a character choice. Yeah. But that like when she's knocking on the door to Andre and is like, "Are you reading? Are you doing that thing again?" It's like you shut me out because I can't read and like I don't. I wasn't given that opportunity, and like, yeah, you know, definitely. The fuck, like that's like in terms of like a villain Torture. or like a hateable character is like yeah. fun. Was fun to dig into and like something I want to do more because I'm like, I don't know. I think you're like totally founded. Like I totally get where you're coming from and like, yeah, get yours. Like like okay, I feel like Fifty Percent was like a really good example of that of like starting as the Trump loving wife. Right. Where it's like, mm -hmm. I'm ha 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 I'm pointing fun at this. Right. And then ending as the like millennial right. interracial friendship. Right. And like falling into these and doing those horrible things that I've absolutely fucking done. Yeah. And like the challenges that I'm like, I've done and said all of these things and now I have to be on stage and do them and acknowledge that and, and actually like go further with it in order to tell the story accurately. Yeah. I mean, like, right. And, and like inflict pain on my cast member because that, that is the story. And it's like, because I feel like with that, what you did so well in that was like the language itself, which is language that you or I would use. Yeah, is, Steph wrote that like so fucking accurately. It's like... It's, it, it's scary. But then when I met with Steph and she was like, yeah, the New Yorker just panned it. What did they say? They, I mean, I think we can look it up, but it's like, basically that it just like didn't deliver on what they thought it was going to because of the title of the play. Yeah. Ah. 
Oh, this is longer than I thought. Oh, is it? Or just, just I thought yeah. it was, I thought it was gonna be like that much, but it's yeah. like twice as long. <laughs> you can add that last line to your website. None of this is the fault of the <laughs> actors who do admirably well with what they've been given. <laughs> Anna Crivelli. <laughs> admirably well. I have um, to I have to bad. love Mitchell that whenever we I bring up the play, <laughs> it in the Times article it was like Crivelli makes us feel Sasha's not my character's name, something something. And so anytime I bring it up, he goes, he goes Crivelli makes us feel <laughs> as if like that was the quote, which right. is like not at all what it fucking was. <laughs> but we have seen those like posters of for shows of like reviews and it's like I've definitely seen that where it's like not a good review, but then whatever company will pull like something like that, like Crivelli makes us feel. I know, like, like if that's the header of my website, Crivelli makes us feel dot dot dot. <laughs> like New York Times. Right. The New York Times says Crivelli makes, makes us, us feel. feel. Sasha's Great. not my character name. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> I know, I, but I don't want to be in my 20s anymore. No. God damn it. No. How do you feel about your 20s when you look back on them? I think I spent most of that time being what I thought people wanted me to be, yeah. specifically in my relationships. Mm. And I don't know if I mean, I don't know if you feel this way as an actor, but like, I feel like we very genuinely take on the interests of others to like study them and like get into them. Yeah. But that, that shit was like used for evil. I think I, I yeah, like I, I think I did some weird stuff and I had like, I also like, I think I missed some opportunities because I was so focused on what other people like I was guided by other people a lot or mm. what I thought their expectations were. Is there a me. specific opportunity you think of? Like I mean I think I did like certain things like acting things like I said no to certain things because like people told me to mm -hmm. and like absolutely and it really absolutely like, in hindsight it's like why the fuck did I say no to anything? Yeah. No, we need the right advisors in that moment, and it's like... I know. Especially when you're young. When you're 24 or 25, and you're like, oh, like, person with authority says to do this, so I guess I do that. Yeah, person giving me an opportunity. Right. Right. Or person wanting to make money off of me, and, like... It's really... They don't prepare you for that. Yeah. Fuck no. And, and honestly, there's no way to prepare you. That's true too. But those people with the fancy things, like how much guidance did they have? Right. Or like, is it just a part of that world that you sort of like understand how it works? Like that's something that like graduating from school, I truly believed yeah. everyone had the same opportunities. Yeah and that there wasn't this trickle down, like, yeah, okay, these five agencies get this, then it's this, then it's that. Like, I, I really thought that everything was released to everyone. Yeah. That it w every job was playing the lottery. I really, really believed that. And yeah. I, I didn't realize I needed it to be so explicit, but it's like, I learned so the hard way. I was just like, oh wait, what? There was a lot happening with the man behind you, so I was what not happened? a great listener. Was he I'm not sure what was happening, but um, I just wanted... Was it inappropriate? No, no, no. It was just like... Just some, there was like something happening over there. And so if I, if I was doing the dead eyes and like vaguely looking past you, it wasn't because I wasn't I listening I was to really you. looking inwardly. We, neither of us were looking, <laughs> perceiving each other. <laughs> my eyes were out. <laughs> my, my focus was in. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that right now. I'm just thinking about Let's myself right. right now. I'm so I'm interested. not perceiving you at all. Yeah. 
I love thinking about okay, myself. Now I perceive you. So Anna, <laughs> what else is new with you? <laughs> You're dead to me. <laughs> I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> the thing is, you just like don't blink when you're not present. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but you have a tell. Like, <laughs> when I am listening or when I'm not? When you're not. <laughs> is that you're not blinking. I'm listening, I'm listening so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blinking too much now. I'm listening, I'm listening. You're so interesting. Mm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Mitchell was just fucking yawn. <laughs> there was one night I was like crying. Mm. Like crying, 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 and he's on the couch and he's like, it's <sighs> <laughs> like I'm crying. Like you were pushing. <laughs> you had the Vaseline. On he your would eyes. say that though. He would. You're pushing. You're pushing. You're pushing. Okay. I'm a Taking my time. I'm a skeleton.